Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today and thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you for being here and hanging out with me. So today's video is going to be about the new Natasha Denona blushes. I got all three of them and we're going to be swatching them and of course I'm going to let you know what I think about these blushes at the end of the video after I try them. So let's go ahead and get on to the video but before we do, please don't forget to like. That definitely helps out my channel a lot and of course subscribe if you have not already you can also click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video which is every single week and without further ado let's get on to the video <laughs> So I brought you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing and how the swatches are going to work. So I got all three of these shades are here. I'm really, really excited just by seeing it in the packaging. I haven't swatched them or anything like that. Just by seeing them on like the package, like right now, this one and this one are definitely like colors that I tend to go for. Um, so I'm really excited for them to see how they apply on my median skin tone. So they are called the Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. So when I hear serum, there's definitely some kind of skincare benefit to them. Okay, so these blushes right here, they retail for $22 each. You can find them on the Sephora website as well as on the Natasha Denona website. I will link all the products down in the description area just in case you are interested in any of them. So the way that they are being described is a silky liquid blush serum hybrid with perfect pigmentation to achieve a natural flush of color formulated with skincare infused technology. They are free of parabens and mineral oils. It is also gluten free and vegan. So before applying these blushes, I'm just going to quickly even out my skin tone with a tinted moisturizer and this one is from Laura Mercier. So I went ahead and applied the tinted moisturizer with powder on this side of my face and here is just the tinted moisturizer. So I did check on the Sephora website that you can apply this on bare skin or on top of foundation. So it might not actually work on top of foundation and powder but we're going to test it anyway. If that is the case I'm going to be a little bit sad to tell you the truth because I do have so many blushes already in my collection that work so well on top of powder. So we will test it anyway and I also want to let you know that she decided to create these colors right here based on her existing colors that she already has on other face palettes like the one that we're going to be trying on first is this one right here which is called bloom and this is the bloom palette it looks really really close to this shade right here so let's just go ahead and swatch it a little bit on the back of our hand just so we can see how close they are to each other and i'm going to grab a little bit of this one right here and just put it on the back of my hand I'm going to blend it out with a clean finger blush right here this one does feel a little bit more on the jelly side and this one definitely more on the cream side and cream to powder side so this one right here is from the palette and this one is the liquid blush so they are not the exact color this one actually leans a little bit more cool and mauvey and this one right here is definitely more warm and like strawberry a little bit brighter than this one i think that's a lot but I hope not. All right, using a synthetic brush. And I will definitely do it one cheek at a time, just so you can really take your time on blending that color. It is a beautiful, beautiful color for spring and summer. Super beautiful. So here we have Bloom, super nice. It blended really, really nice. So let's go ahead and do it on the powder side. Just... Mm. All right, I'm actually going to put it in the back of my hand and pick it up like that. So it's not blending as nicely as it blended over here. So it is working. I did have to put a little bit more pressure to move the product around and that definitely scares me, especially if you already have like a full set of foundation and powder, you might end up moving some of the product around because you do have to press it just a little bit more than other products that I have. Um, so I don't know, but it does look really, really nice. And I set my face super lightly. Like I didn't really like bake or anything like that. So it's super, super lightly. It worked. 
which that makes me happy. So I'm feeling super youthful right now and I am totally feeling that. So this color so far, it's a win for me. So here is tinted moisturizer and powder again in my whole entire face because that is the way that I actually wear my tinted moisturizer. I always have to powder because I am oily to combination. So this is a must for me. So let's go ahead and test these two colors, this one on this side and this one on this side. So let's go ahead and start with this shade right here, which is called Daria. All right, so here we have Daria. And the one that I do have in my collection is this one right here from Natasha Denona, of course. And this is from the Love Cheek Cream Blush and Highlighter. So we're going to take the cream sign. So once again, this is the cream to powder formula. Super, super beautiful. I love it so much. This formula is my favorite from hers. All right, guys. So here we have the swatches. Again, not the same color really really close though this one right here is from the palette and this one is the liquid blush all right so i'm going to put some in the back of my hand and grabbing a clean brush this brush is a little bit more denser than the one that i was using before so this is like a really really super wash of color i'm going to just apply it directly to my skin so as you saw i applied it directly to my face because it's super lightweight and this brush is actually working out really really nicely i don't have to press it as hard as i was doing it with a fluffy brush like this one this one because it has a little bit more density to it it's actually really like working the product into the skin much better so this is daria all right guys, so this shade right here is called Tan and I actually looked in the Tan palette but I don't see any shades that are creamy. So the only cream that we have is this one right here and it's more like a highlighter, not really a blush. So just wanted to put it side by side. So let me just swatch it here. Oh yeah, this is like super, super light. That is a beautiful color though. So I'm just gonna add it directly to the skin. I went ahead and cleaned this brush. I didn't think I was gonna like it just because it is so light. I didn't think it was gonna show up, but it is definitely showing up and it's giving me a really nice natural kind of flush. This is definitely for a no makeup makeup look. This is so pretty. Really, really like it. Hopefully the camera is picking it up, but it's super nice and natural on the skin in real life. Really like it. So here is a tan. All right guys, so let me go ahead and just put in a little bit of makeup. All right, so I'm actually using tan for blush because I want it to be like bronzy with this makeup that I have going on. And I think that that's working out really, really nice. So I already have my foundation powder already on the face and I do have a tinted moisturizer, but a different one that I was actually using for the swatches. So if you're interested in knowing what I have on my face and as well as on my eyes, there's going to be a video coming on soon. If it's not already up, I will link it somewhere down below. Um, but if it's not, then it should be coming soon. So this blush right here did not pick up any of my foundation. Everything's still intact, the powder and everything. So it's super light coverage um, that I am using. I'm not using a full coverage foundation. It is a tinted moisturizer. And once again, the powder that I added is super, super lightweight. This is, I love this highlighter, so pretty. So I know that you can actually use this one as lip tint. So I am going to do that. So on the lips, definitely, I this is not a product that I can see myself using on the lips again at all, just because it actually starts building up right here like right there you can see it mm -mm. i don't like that at all so i'm just using this lip oil from this year all right guys so after applying and playing with the blushes definitely not for the lips i am not going to put them on my lips again but i do really enjoy the way that they apply on the skin i love the colors super super nice and out of uh, these uh, three shades right here i do see me using all of them for sure but this one is the one that really really i am super in love with 
as I have this one on my skin. It just makes you look super nice and glowy and tan, super summery, and it's just really, really nice. The way that they actually feel on the skin, you can feel the skincare benefit that they have on the skin. Like your skin feels super nice and hydrated, which is definitely a plus for me. My only suggestion, if you want to use any of these brushes to go in with a denser brush like this one, something that is a little bit more dense, not so fluffy like this one right here. So using it with a denser brush and applying it in the back of my hand, I think that that's definitely the way that I would suggest for you to use it and try it to see how you like it. You can definitely apply it directly to your skin on bare skin and just blend it out with your fingers. But if you already have foundation, powder, and bronzer like I did right now, um, definitely apply it in the back of your hand and go in with a denser brush and apply it to your skin. I love the way that it actually applied to my skin like that. So hopefully that is a good tip for you guys and you can try it that way if you already purchased or you're thinking of purchasing these blushes right here. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope that this review was helpful to you. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already before you leave and I'll see you next time.